Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Today's Monday morning. Yeah, buddy. We got we got a uh, busy little day here. We, yeah, we have a lot of orders. We've got over 50 items going out today. Of course, that is related to um, the topics lately with the cards. We have a lot of cards going out. Monty's been busting his butt getting them listed, and it's reflecting in the sales. Yeah. Big time. So, um, yeah, a lot of items going out, but a lot of them are smaller, like cards. Yeah, we have some good stuff going out, too, though. Don't yep. get me wrong. Don't oh, yeah. get me wrong. And cards are good, too. I like the cards. Yeah. Cards are fun. I had a lot of fun. I worked... I worked a long. I had a long day yesterday working. I, I worked from morning till night, and I, I watched a lot of football too. So it wasn't all work, but uh, you know, I got 85 cards listed for 633 dollars yesterday, and then I, I did a few on Saturday. Was more of a sorting day because it's not like I had to actually go through and pull the cards and figure out what was what and everything. So it was time consuming, but uh, it was fun. Well, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Well, I'm not enjoying it that much, <laughs> but it's, you know, hey, beat, beats working for a living. <laughs> um, I, Candace is going to help me pull cards. I'm not going to subject y'all to, then I need, then I need card 87 and pull. I'm, we're going to go ahead and pull the cards and I'll show you everything that's going out once we get them pulled. <laughs> Was that your uh, eBay, your video voice? I don't have a video. Well, why did you make change your voice? <laughs> because I was like, I was acting. Y'all understand. She's just giving me a hard time. <laughs> don't, you don't do you that sometimes? You should have done your Mickey Mouse voice then. Now I'm going to pull a card <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be known for that. I'm not going to be that guy. <laughs> so we're going to pull all these cards uh, and then we'll be right back. So here are Candace Help Me. Thank goodness because it would have been hard by myself. Um, here are all the cards that are going out. It's a total of 28. And I did some quick, just uh, rough math in my head. And before, without shipping, uh, it's 28 cards that sold for about $235 total. Uh, totally worth it. Because I haven't packed them yet, but I imagine the packing is going to be pretty quick. So, uh, good, good first weekend of these cards. Anyway. All right, we sold this little Disney set for 15. Sold a Lamar Jackson rookie for five. A Shaq rookie for five. A Dirk rookie for nine. It's all about the rookies. Why do they even make cards after their first year? <laughs> no, they're not worth much anyways. Uh, Giannis, I think that's a rookie for 10. And then we have three Dirk Nowitzki rookies for some amount you see on the screen. I'm not sure. We actually have... Uh, we actually have a little box of those right here. We have a Punisher that sold for eight. Some kind of Marvel um, lenticular. A Venom that sold for 15. A Shohei Atani that sold for eight. A Silver Surfer promo card that sold for some amount. I don't know. It's very it's similar to the Dirks. We have a little box full of these too. Best name on the table right now, Taco Charlton. My favorite player. <laughs> His uh, his parents actually nicknamed him Taco Charlton. Do, do I want to tell the story? Taco Charlton's mother ate tacos to try to, oh, to try to stop the baby from being born. Or no, she ate tacos and it caused Taco to be born or something like that. Probably to induce labor. No, but he was premature. So uh, they were trying not, some, if, if you're interested, Google the story. But anyway, Taco sold for $5. It is an auto. Um, Shaquille O'Neal Stadium Club rookie, a Roger Staubach card, a Dick Buckus card, and then we have Candace. Candace was not familiar with um, <laughs> Candace was not familiar with Albert Pujols, so she was calling him Pujols, <laughs> and then she came up with a what a joke that I would usually come up with. I really like this one, so she called this one out. And then we, we pulled, so I pulled this card, it's $8 Albert Pujols. And then we pulled the Greg Maddox card. And then we had, for five, and then we came to this other Albert Pujols card that sold for 20. That's a good one. But after we pulled that one, she goes, now you have two Pujols. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was gold. I had to. 
<laughs> but it gets even uh yeah that no we only have two poo holes today we don't have we only have two poo holes <laughs> oh man the spider-man card sold for i think 11 something free ship the rest these for some reason the re replacement cards like that i did free shipping on all the other ones are pretty much unless they're worth none of them on the tail are worth over 20 so they're all going ebay standard envelope um oh what else the t higgins the patch and auto cards for the players that aren't like superstars are worth a lot less than i was hoping but uh yeah t higgins card sold for five with a patch on it yeah how many cards can you get out of one jersey i wonder a lot yeah a whole bunch yeah. probably like one jersey probably i don't know a thousand, maybe? something like that yeah uh, let's see another spider-man a Harrison Bader rookie card that sold for 20 never heard of that guy That's one reason why it's a little dangerous me going through these boxes because Harrison Bader $20 rookie card There might be a bunch more $20 rookie rookie cards in those boxes that I don't know about just because I don't know the players uh, Okay, this Order right here was for four of those replacement cards. They got two carnages and two venoms this is a 45 dollars order right here which is good and then this last one is a tim duncan rookie card that sold for six dollars so i'm going to see how long this takes me to pack okay so we had two more of our auctions in off the 450 dollars digimon uh vintage computer stuff buy and so that brings our total up to 3548 and we have one auction left that is ending tomorrow i believe we, oh the pokemon yes the pokemon lot oh so i mean we could be up to 3600 yeah because it's at what 91 right now i think is it that no nah, it's not that high not you're high? thinking of the other auction oh, maybe so it's at like 50. okay yeah so that's that's the last one and then we'll have a final total on that digimon buy i also have you see this a right here and then I have an A here for today. That means an auction. I have another poo hole. Oh. A poo hole. You're auctioning off your poo if, hole. If there's... <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to stop. It's like middle school Okay, fr here. from now on, we're just going to call him Albert, okay? Okay. All right, Albert. <laughs> I auctioned... <laughs> I put... auctioning off Albert. <laughs> I put Albert's poo hole. <laughs> Uh, you think he got made fun of when he was a kid? I, I know that's a, that's unfortunate. Maybe <laughs> maybe he told him uh, that maybe he's told him it was Pujol or Pudgel. Pudgel, <laughs> Al Albert Pudgel. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna change what we call this guy. <laughs> he actually, you know, why Albert Pudgel is kind of relevant right now? Well, he's still playing. He's old as hell. Mm -hmm. uh, but he he just hit. I'm not a baseball guy, but I know that he just hit like. I think he's like number three and or three or four or something all time home runs. He's behind like um, Barry Bonds, Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, and then it's and he, is he like far and then behind it's, or he's oh yeah oh no no he's he ain't gonna pass anybody else okay. but but no still historically significant poo hole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's gotta stop. You gotta get ordered. It's gotta stop. I gotta go. I gotta I gotta pack this stuff. Oh my gosh. But anyways, uh, that's a that's an Albert card here. And then I have a lot of other uh cards that I've I've picked out for auctions because some cards do better at auctions. So especially if people decide that your card is a good one to send off to get graded. Okay, got them all done. I actually uh timed it out and it took us about five minutes to pull all the orders because i put all the boxes up here and we pulled them candace called it out it took five minutes to pull all the cards it took 40 minutes to pack them all now we do have uh one order that was four cards one order that was eight cards and then maybe a two card order so it ended up being a lot less than 28 packages but got them all out like that's that's really good amount of time uh, on the back end of you know to pack them up and stuff for the amount of money we made so pretty happy with that okay moving on we got more stuff to pull a lot more uh let's see this little lot right here that's crazy how small these things are this is the little um 
little Digimon minifigure lot that sold at auction for $91 plus shipping on top. Look at that. How many are in here? 30. There's 30 of them in there. MU7 sold an old cell phone. It's old Motorola. Uh, well, it's not, it's not a flip phone. It's just an old Motorola Cellular One phone. If y'all remember that company. I think they merged with AT&T or something a long, long time ago. $9.99 plus shipping on top for this. CC3, we sold another one of these costumes. I will double check the size real quick. Infant 1 to 2. I think they're all the same though on that shelf. Yeah, this is right. $14.99 plus ship for that costume. And I just went and pulled this cosmetic smash box. Uh, this sold for $10.49 free ship. One Foxtrot. We sold some. I see them already. Some rubber rubber Converse, which we had never seen before. Well, we, pay, we paid $5 for these, right? That sounds right. Not not extremely valuable. $22.49 plus shipping on top for these. Still a solid profit though. And Converse are just something we always look out for. All right, CC10. I've sold quite a few of these kind of things over the years. And they're never huge, huge money, but you know, a little bit of profit. This is an old Midland brand uh, transceiver so, selling it parts only as is sold i put prop in the title 14.99 plus shipping for that you better run lady I, i'm i mean business today got a lot of stuff to pull uh sold a ah this guy right here and look we even know what he weighs because he's sitting on a scale <laughs> this little uh i told y'all the other day how i like to pick up cheap camera bags when I can, this is a little Amazon Basics camera bag that I paid a dollar for. And then I put this little garage sale find inside of it. So this little camera charger, I think there might be a memory card in there. I can't remember. But this all sold for how much? $64.99 plus shipping on top. I believe I paid $15 for the camera. Then pocket 67, it's not this 67, must be the other one. 67 right here here we go and that looks right it's a little simpsons character carrying like a he's carrying like a club or a bat or something looks like oh is that mo simpson series oh it's nelson 9.99 plus shipping on top looks like he's headed for a riot or something all right i'll pull one more this round we have a vinyl record finally sold that yaz or yazoo or whatever you want to call it uh, i think i might see it back here is this it yes this is it right here what a great song this is situation it's a big old 12 inch <laughs> we've got the little laugh at the beginning uh 15.99 plus media mail shipping on top for that i'm gonna pack this around then we'll be right back everything so far is fit into one ikea bag <laughs> we have a pretty good bit of stuff left to pack um feels pretty good seeing this stuff that we've been working on working pretty hard on lately actually come to fruition and sell it was a good weekend for that kind of stuff uh, next up one delta this is a pokemon lot that's sold out of that stuff we got from guy there we go. It's got card backs and a bunch of uh, Pokemon figs, as you can see here. $75 plus shipping on top is what this sold for. Two Bravo. We sold some, uh, I think, DVDs. A box. Of, uh, here we go. Right here. These are a show called Angel. Yeah, they are used. I thought they were new at first. These sold for $10.49 plus medium mail shipping on top. On two Delta, one of the hot hot roller things we bought, Candace decided it was smarter. And the thing was kind of messed up, like the base unit. I mean, it wasn't bad, but 
Oh, I could just grab it out of here. I don't need to take all that stuff down. But she ended up just listing the rollers by themselves. She took the rollers out, cleaned them up a little bit, listed these by themselves, and sold them for $24.99 plus shipping on top. And the funny thing is, she got the same amount for these as other people are getting for the these with the thing they go in, the thing that heats them up. So that was uh, that's something we're going to continue to look out for moving forward. Our uh, hot curlers or whatever you rollers or whatever you call those things more vinyl this time it's some new order it's one of those ones i think i had two new order new order um records that look like floppy disk like this one that's interesting i, I ought to search and see if i can figure out what the uh story is behind that yeah new order uh, this is blue monday 12 inch single from 85 this sold for 14.99 plus shipping on top and that's their iconic song of course and pocket 80 it's gonna be this 80 over here oh look here he is there is, he is lowly worm <laughs> lowly worm nice and clean now he sold for 19.99 plus shipping on top seven bravo we sold some more curlers uh i think it was the smaller set a little travel size set and all these things we we paid two or three dollars for each one the same the same weekend we bought like four of them 14.99 plus shipping on top for this set going back to the vinyl again this time we're pulling out some depeche mode music for the masses we actually made yeah this is it right here 49.99 plus shipping on top for this one this is a good one uh we actually while i was packing the last round we we had a huge vinyl order come in so after i pack that stuff tomorrow we're not going to have much vinyl left next round bench is cleared it's been quite a day of packing already and we still got a lot to go i'm skipping over some of the larger orders like bigger items that are going to go ups because we don't really have a uh okay. who is this is this depeche mode yes this is depeche mode i'm looking for two depeche mode records what is the name of this one Okay, this is one of them. This is People Are People, Depeche Mode. That's sold for, oh, this is a good one, $49.99 plus shipping on top. And then we have one more Depeche Mode record to pull on that order. Oh, it's the one right behind it. That made it easy. This Depeche Mode, Some Great Reward record, sold for $24.99 plus ship. So those are going together. 7 Bravo Alpha 2. We sold some right here. It's like a jacket and some boots for American Girl. This sold for $9.99 plus ship. And we sold another lot of the large Crown Royal bags. 10 of them in here for $13.99 plus ship. And on CC5 five right here okay this guy right here this little uh well it's a crawfish crawfish lemons garlic and don't know why there's plums we've never put plums in a crawfish boil before try that in our next boil. <laughs> <laughs> i just don't understand of all the things well, people do put oranges yeah but i've never That's heard of citrus there huh? we, we've we've looked at a lot of facebook groups and watched a lot of videos and shows and whatnot about cooking crawfish never heard of plums before <laughs> but uh yeah this little this is a cool knickknack though and we got it in an estate sale really cheap when, when is this from, from 1970 it looks like 1975 made in usa this sold for 9.99 plus ship and on six bravo i have to figure out which one of these binders this is in uh, i'm gonna guess this one there's a punisher poster 
Number seven. Ah, it is in here. We've had some stuff. This might take a while to sell. What is it? Candace, what is that? Dynasty or <laughs> Thorn Birds or one of those stupid... That's Dynasty. Dynasty? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Some big Dynasty fan's going to come along and we're going to have just the stuff for them. One of these days. Just you wait. All right. Headed to two Bravo now for one more before I pack this round. I'm looking for a Princess Leia letter B. This is her right here in Hoth gear. She sold for, what'd you get, Princess Leia? $11.24 plus shipping on top. All right, another round. Last round, I think, of the smaller stuff. We do have some larger stuff we're going to pull after that. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is a Monster High. You can see the branding on there. Monster High stand, doll stand. This sold for $9.99 plus ship. Then in guy drawer over here, we sold. Reposition that guy a little bit. We sold some kind of action figure. Looks like he's got a little base that he stands on. That's not you just had your hand on him, okay? This? Is this it? Oh that is okay. Yeah, this is it. This guy sold, ooh, super cheap. $6.29 plus shipping on top for him on sale. And we have to go to the ceiling here. Oh, I can reach it. It's on a screw. It barely fits. There we go. This thing, Royal Automobile Club Belgique. This sold, it is legit old too. This sold for $22.49 plus shipping on top. And there was a note attached to the sale buyer's note hello shed flips thanks for the rebate it was on i guess they're referring to it being on sale this message is for you the seller no need to add an invoice package this topper is an early christmas gift from my brother who lives in georgia usa please be sure not all caps not to mention any detail on price tax or cost of shipping for this wishing you the best and they give their name so Basically, they're telling me it's a gift. It's not a gift. I got drop shipped, meaning they they sold it to somebody else for who knows. I don't know. I have like maybe they sold it for forty dollars, and then they're getting me to ship it to them, and they don't want the customer to know that it's coming from somewhere else. They especially don't want the customer to know how much the real cost was that they paid for it, which that's fine. Uh, I've been drop shipped, probably. I don't know, hundreds of times in the past. Probably a lot of times I didn't even know it. Uh, it doesn't bother me any. I got the money I was asking, and I will comply with their wishes. I may even put a Christmas card in there. Seven Charlie. We sold. We actually, I think we have two of these, maybe. Maybe. Not sure. Ah, here we go. Sold this. Maybe one can't remember sold this uh tie fighter bluetooth speaker and we did test it and look we even we're even including well we're including a charge cable we happen to have a a new one we got somewhere some deal for uh real cheap that's why we like buying little accessories like this that we know are pretty common um because a lot of times you can throw it in with something if you need it anyway we sold that for 19.99 plus shipping on top and this is why it said zero available. We sold our last Scooby-Doo costume for $14.99 plus ship. I think we had like four or five of those and we sold them all in the past couple of days. Ooh, this one has a, take an additional 50% off. Hmm, I think I'm probably just gonna leave that on there. And two Foxtrot, we just got these shoes this past weekend. Charlie Delta Echo Foxtrot, here we go. It's a pair of That's not right, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Look. It was dark back there and I just <laughs> Oh my god. Ah. Here we go. Here's the other red one. Uh we paid $10 for this pair of converse we actually got two pair that we paid ten dollars each for 
those are almost perfect condition uh, if not perfect $34.99 plus shipping for those we went ahead and pulled this box down we sold a uh, a Cy Young starting lineup here's a Cy Young right here we have several of those in here this sold for $7.99 plus ship that's all the USPS stuff that's going out so I'm gonna get this packed and then we have a few larger orders to get to all right all the USPS is out of here now we have to pull some ups orders and this is one of them oh this guy Woo -wee. his base is a big old heavy metal statue but his base is super duper heavy it must it feels like it's filled with lead or something what's this thing weigh mm, okay he weighs eh, just a little over 10 pounds just like the title said and he's got a very sharp sword i think does that come no the sword does not come out I have to pack him just like he sits here and this is actually going global shipping program 79.99 plus shipping on top we paid five dollars for this at a garage sale i don't know not too long ago maybe six months or so i don't have time to show the whole packing process because i'm, I'm struggling just to get everything out today but this is what i've done i've taken an extra two extra small boxes and i cut this panel out of one side of both of them which i have sitting under the statue there now I'll, I'll probably use that at the probably both of them at the bottom um, to provide a little more cardboard and then this will all fold up into a longer box i laid him down in the middle here to figure out how big i wanted the box to be and so we've got plenty of space here for him and i'll show you all the end result in about hopefully five minutes or so my time all right finished product here and that's upside down but i want to show the label so this is 26 11 10 i think and it's going shipping to erlinger kentucky which is where all the global shipping stuff goes and the label for this package costs ups label 13 pounds 26 11 10 dimensions and the label was 17 31 i think all right just a couple more things now almost done this order is for this disney village thing sold it for 63.99 plus shipping on top it's been in here a pretty good while let's see well you can a lot of dust on this box not to I'll wipe them down real quick um i guess this is yeah this is going to need to go up just because of the size it's going to be larger than 12 12 12 so usps probably isn't going to be an option all right got those guys packed and uh i was fortunate i had we had a one of these diamond comic distributor boxes and these things are like super duper strong so i like using those whenever we have extra ones around and one more thing five alpha oh those are already in a box forgot about that i think those uh ornaments is that them so i think candace put those ornaments in here already and if so oh yeah i will I don't know they're kind of ready to go aren't they they're not breakable <laughs> no not really i think they're fine just drop a card in there yeah no they're good yeah. there's nothing really else to do <laughs> all right so those ornaments sold for 44.99 plus ship how much do you think we have into all those ornaments not much right like uh did we pay like 350 Right. they were like a dollar a dollar fiftieth a package or something and we had six or seven packages. something like, like that yeah so about maybe nine dollars or something so that finally we're done that's everything that we sold over the weekend <laughs> it's been quite a 
quite a packing day, which I'm uh, very grateful for because we have had some slow days lately. So uh, having a nice, nice sales weekend. And I'll, I got to tell y'all the cards, if they all sell, that's always going to be the thing. If they all sell, because they all won't sell probably. Um, the cards, I was very happy with how fast that packing went. I would much rather, for instance, I would much rather pack, I think our average card listing has been somewhere around $8, 7 to $8 av on average is our average card listing. I would much rather pack 10, 10 or 11 cards than I would one Caesar, or Don Cesar or Caesar, or however you say that, one of those statues, <laughs> much rather. So yeah, the money per card ain't a lot, but just the, whenever you calculate out the time, if they all sell, <laughs> say it again, then uh, man, it just really makes sense. Let me uh, get this guy closed up and we're almost done. All right, we actually are gonna, we actually are gonna pull one more order. Uh, it's an order that came in today, but we are going to UPS store for a drop off. So I might as well go ahead and pull it and pack it today so that we don't have to make two trips instead. So this uh, cassette case, really nice condition, but it sold for, oh, airdrop? Mm -hmm. What are you airdropping me? Something we're gonna talk about. Oh, okay. Anyway, this sold for $20.99 plus shipping on top. Really nice condition. It's got that old uh, simulated wood grain. Like I still got the sticker on the bottom. Yeah, and the feet are all in good condition. Yeah, this thing must have sat in somebody's living room for 40 years or something, mm -hmm. right? All right, I'm gonna get this packed up. Actually, is this is probably gonna go USPS instead because they're in Texas. So, and USPS is actually like 10 cents cheaper. So why not? They'll get it a little faster too. Yeah, and then you don't have to carry it to the UPS store. Right, right. We've got enough here. This is all going to ups. Yeah. So, uh, if you remember, we are playing each other, Lonnie and I, in fantasy football. And I want to give you all a quick update. So, we asked for um, a suggestions for the loser of the um, this week between us. What what would they have to do? And so, we took a suggestion from Mike Kirst that the winner gets to pick the other's team name to change it for the week so that's what we're going to do and i just want to show you how interesting like yesterday it was fun watching the back and forth like um i took the lead then lonnie took the lead then i took the lead and um it was really close at a lot of points so it was fun to watch um we both yeah, yeah it was a lot of fun to watch it's not over yet we both have players <laughs> playing tonight so We'll give y'all an update tomorrow. Yeah, the, the the Victor writes the history books. Remember that. <laughs> it was it was so much fun. It was everyone had a great time. You haven't had fun? Huh? You didn't have fun? Uh, for maybe the first half of the when he the was early winning, games. He was winning the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> and the, anyway, we both have players playing tonight, and we will update y'all tomorrow on who won. You don't want to? Are we going to show them the total score for right now? No. Because oh. it's not over. I'm going to lose. So <laughs> just to kill all suspense, I hate to spoil it. I'm losing. So she gets to name my team. To, Negative uh, Nilly. Tuesday morning. No, I'm down by like 70 with a with a defense or something. You're a Monday morning quarterback. <laughs> I wish I had the sun Sunday afternoon quarterbacks on my roster because none of them played. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, we're not going to belabor the football talk. I know a lot of y'all don't like it, but uh, we put it at the very end. <laughs> Thanks a bunch for watching. We will see y'all again very soon. Oh, uh, don't forget this week we're going to start our new schedule. We're still going to do five videos a week, but we're taking off which day? So there won't be video on Wednesday or Saturday. There'll be a like instead of a two day break, we'll break it up. So there's right two days of video and then three days of video. yeah we, it was it was breaking our hearts to be away from you guys like one day is bad enough and then then we were like put another video up like ah it feels better but two days in a row is torture we could just do seven days 
Okay, Candace said she's gonna make two videos a week. I love how she just offers me up like it's nothing. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the she shed. <laughs> oh yeah, I would love to see. <laughs> anyway, th thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all again. Uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow because yeah, tomorrow. this is wait wait no. We're gonna see y'all on Thursday. No, we won't see y'all tomorrow we'll because today Thursday. is Tuesday when yeah. this is getting uploaded. I'll see you the day after. We'll tomorrow. see you again Thursday. Bye y'all. Bye.